Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplified. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can build and automate a serverless data lake using AWS Blue Trigger for the data catalog and the ETL jobs. Okay, that is using trigger based approach. We will be creating our catalog tables, we will be running our Blue Crawler okay and also we will be triggering our blue ideal job if certain activity is done and the complete process will be serverless okay so let's try to understand this architecture so this is kind of one technique to orchestrate your blue job using lambda and cloudwatch rules already i have discussed blue workflow apart from that you can use obviously adapter step function also to orchestrate blue jobs that is first the crawler will run once the crawler is in success status then the job will start once the job is in success status maybe another job you can start like that you can basically create the flow okay but using lambda and cloudwatch also in a proper way you can create a beautiful blue related serverless pipeline let's try to understand what is that okay so suppose our data is coming in raw s3 bucket okay that can be suppose csv data and ultimate goal is converting that csv data to bucket okay so once the data is coming in raw s3 bucket what should happen one lambda should be triggered based on s3 event notification and that lambda will start a blue crawler which will crawl the data set whatever just now got dumped in this raw s3 bucket maybe that is csv data and then it will try to infer the schema and based on that it will create or update a table in our blue catalog database okay now once the crawler is successful depending on this particular raw data set it might take couple of minutes or hours then once this particular blue crawler is successful then what will happen one cloudwatch event rule it will be satisfying and based on that another lambda will be triggered okay in the cloudwatch rule we will configure that if the particular crawler is in successful state then this another lambda should be triggered and what this lambda will do this lambda will simply trigger a blue etl job which will read the data from the blue catalog table which is generated by the crawler after crawling the raw s3 data and after reading the data from that catalog table it will basically convert that to parquet and write in another s3 location which is our processed s3 bucket okay or in the same bucket in a different folder it will be writing that process data maybe you can apply some transformation maybe you can just simply convert that csv to parquet whatever based on your requirement you can work okay and once this particular glue job is successful what we can we can basically send a notification to the developer team or the admin team that see it is completed something like that if required so i'll be showing you that if the blue job state is changed then how you can use cloudwatch rule to trigger certain other activities like here in this particular case we are sending an sms using aws simple notification service okay so this becomes a complete serverless pipeline okay obviously some more parts you can add like try catch block maybe you can basically here in the raw s3 bucket it might happen multiple partitions are getting uploaded it should not be as soon as one file is uploaded then and there this lambda should start crawler rather what you can do you can wait for all the partitions to be uploaded and after that once the success file is written which basically indicates that the map reduce has successfully retain all the partitions then only you can trigger the lambda all this kind of activity you can do obviously which i already covered in our previous video in this particular blue crawler you can crawl incrementally using sqs based event notification for s3 okay that is also another option in the blue etl job obviously you can add job bookmarking and make it optimized to process only the incremental data right but as of now, I am just going to show you a simple demo with the normal format only. That is, I am not going to use any incremental crawling or incremental ETL run. But obviously, you can add those. So, this is a very important and popular architecture or we can say pattern in the big data world. Now, it is many company follow. Okay. So, let's see how we can work with that. Okay. So, here I will be first going to AWS Management Console. And then here as a first step, I will go to S3 and I will create a bucket for the demo. Okay. 
and inside that bucket what we will do we will create two folders i'll show you so bucket name here serverless demo blue lambda cloud watch some name i am giving and then here what i will do i will create the bucket okay here i'll be putting bucket name is this one okay and folder names also we have to create so here one folder will be csv data storer for s3 and another will be basically same name just here instead of csv it will be parquet okay right so let's just create that so csv storer in this particular folder what will happen that basically the raw data will be dumped that is this particular csv storer is our this particular raw bucket okay here you can see and we'll create another folder parquet data storer and that is done now here if you see this particular part what will happen that as soon as some file will be coming in this raw bucket this particular lambda should trigger the crawler okay so this is basically event based right now how will you do that this is the code for that very simple we are importing json boto3 and we are creating the client for blue and then here we are starting the crawler that's it and then here we have to put the crawler name right so we'll be doing that let me just copy this particular one and then here i'll be going to AWS management console and then here I will go to lambda create function as of now I am using python 3.9 function name crawler trigger okay and here we will create the function here I will be deleting this code and paste that new one and here basically we have to give the crawler name we will give that not a problem so first let me just update this one so here what i will do i will go to configuration section and i will add the glue access otherwise it will fail to start the crawler so here blue service role i will be providing and apart from that to avoid any other issues i will give s3 full access also before going to production we can find in the access not a problem okay right so this is our that one and then here what we will do we will basically add trigger and for s3 the bucket name is this one all object create event and prefix enter a single optional prefix to limit the notification to object with keys that will start with this particular matching characters okay so we only want to trigger if some file is coming in this particular location right so we'll be putting that here okay and that's pretty much it i will do this one and i'll add this one. okay i'll go back to code maybe here i can print the event and here it is done right so here what we will do now we will go to aws management console and we will create a crawler first okay so i will go to crawler so here what i will do i will add crawler okay so crawler name demo serverless trigger base take me some name i am giving right then here what i will do i will go to next and data source crawl all folders that's fine as of now i'll go to next and here what i will do i will be choosing my path okay so here our data is stored right and then here what i will do i will go to next next here create an iam role 
I will go to this console and here what I will do I will create a role for our blue and then here I will search blue blue surface role F3 axis cloud watch axis okay blue demo is the role name here what we will do we will create the role so here rule is getting created and then here choose an existing im role i can do and then here what is the name that's now we created that is glue demo right so i'll just refresh this glue demo this is the role i will go to next run on demand that's fine i'll go to next right and then here add database so we'll add the database demo testing okay this is the database name I'm just having a note here okay right and here we'll create that and then keeping all other properties intact I will just finish this one okay so here you can see our crawler is ready and if I go to database here basically our the database whatever we just updated demo testing is there but inside that no table is there okay once the crawler will run based on lambda trigger it will create the table in the catalog automatically okay right i hope up to this it is pretty much clear so here based on this lambda this crawler will run that configuration we have completed right now once the crawler is in successful state maybe it can take several amount of time based on the ST data the cloud web should trigger another lambda that one we need to configure okay we'll do that so here i will go to crawler and here this is the crawler name right i'll be taking that and in the previous lambda here i'll be testing that first so with this our this lambda is completely ready right and then here what i will do i will basically create an cloud watch rule but before that we need to create that lambda that is this lambda will be creating which will trigger our blue job okay let me do that i will go to lambda create function trigger job blue some name i am giving and python is the environment create the function okay so to start a blue job the code is very simple just we have to import json boto3 create the client for blue and we have to provide the job name what we want to start and that uh, we can just return something lambda import something okay so here i will delete and paste that and here i will declare as of now here in the configuration section i will be adding blue role for this lambda as well so that it can start the job Also, I'll be adding S3 axis. Right. So that is done. Also, I will just make sure it will not have timeout issues. So I will just increase the timeout to 2 minutes 3 seconds. Although it is basically asynchronous calling, lambda will not wait until and unless the blue job is finished. But still, just for safe side, in the earlier lambda also, I'll be making the timeout as 2 minutes 3 seconds okay right so here our first lambda then here our crawler then here our second lambda the second lambda should trigger one blue job so that blue job let's configure now okay so i will just go to legacy glue job and i will write this glue job code what we are doing here here basically we are importing some necessary stuff as, as we generally do how glue create the script automatically like that same way only here database name and table name will be providing and then here in which path it will be writing the parquet data that we are providing that's it okay so very simple blue code i'll be just taking that 
and in here add job name demo server lay some name I am giving I am role blue demo whatever we created that only we are putting I am writing the code in Python okay a new script authored by you I will be keeping that and all other properties will be unchanged and I will go to next save job and edit this script I will paste this one okay right I will just make this little bit bigger for you and here database name so once our crawler runs where it will be creating the particular table it will create in this particular database right so i'll be taking that and here database name i'll be putting what will be our table name what the crawler will create crawler will always create the table name which is having the same name as of our folder so csv data store or whatever we have written that one will be using here okay so this becomes our basically the db name and table name from where the data will be read okay now here where it will be writing the data we want to write the data in parquet -E location right so here this is the folder so first this is the bucket name i'll be taking that paste that here and here our parquet -E location right so basically here what we are doing we are reading the data from the table and then here we are writing in the s3 parquet -E location that's it okay and then here what we'll do is we'll save the job right it is saved i will go back to jobs legacy so this is the job just now what we have created so i will just click and show you see as of now it has not ran any time i will just copy the glue job name and in this lambda which will start the glue job there i'll be putting the name okay and we will deploy this one right so once it is deployed what should happen that this lambda should be triggered by cloudwatch okay so here I will go to CloudWatch. And here I will go to rule section. I will create a rule. Okay. So here based on glue the lambda trigger should happen. So if you see the diagram, if glue crawler state is changed to successful then the CloudWatch should trigger the Lambda ETL job, right? So, here what we will do, we have chosen glue, event type all event, no, glue crawler state change. So, here basically glue crawler state change we have specified. And then here what we will do, we will basically put that it is succeeded. If it is succeeded, glue crawler state is changed to succeeded, then only we want to trigger our Lambda, okay? Right? Now the thing is, here you can see whatever event pattern it has generated it looks like this okay now the question comes this particular event will be triggering as soon as any glue crawler state is changed to successful but maybe we are only interested in this this demo serverless trigger based technique for this particular crawler if the state is changed then only we want to trigger the lambda so that how to add that that we cannot simply add from this kind of uh, diagram right so for that we can always inspect how the cloudwatch event is coming and based on that we can put a filter condition here okay i will show you that so for this time i will not simply add the lambda as the destination of cloudwatch trigger but rather let me add an sns and show you how you can get the json how the cloudwatch is sending and based on that here in the cloudwatch we can update okay so for that what i will do i will open the link in a new tab and then here I will go to SNS. So here you can see I am already having a topic called Polare Hola. And here in this particular topic, one mail subscription is also there. Okay. So now we will use the this particular SNS as the CloudWatch destination. So here I will choose SNS topic, topic name this one that's pretty much it okay so as soon as crawler state will change it will publish that to sns okay configure details demo one and here we will create the rule okay so basically what i am trying to do try to understand as soon as s3 file will be uploaded the lambda will trigger the crawler and the crawler will basically once it is successful it will send the cloudwatch rule and that should trigger the lambda but instead of this lambda i am putting sns so that i can see how the cloudwatch logs is coming and based on that we can modify the rule 
that only if a particular crawler is successful then only lambda should be triggered not based on other other pro crawler success data okay right that kind of stuff what i want to do and then here what i will do so here cloudwatch is set it and now i will go to the server list and i will upload a file in my csv location Here I will choose all files and here I will upload them. Okay, once it is uploaded, what should happen? First, the crawler trigger should run. Okay, and this will start this particular crawler. Let's see. So, if I go to monitor section and if I go to view logs in cloud, what you should see one particular trigger is added. Let's see. See, just now one trigger is added. If I click on that, here you will see that this is coming from s3 event right and here if you see the key name first the folder name is coming then the file name is coming so that's what we have added in prefix right that anything starting with this then only the lambda should trigger the crawler so let's go to the crawler section and if i just refresh this one here you will see that the crawler is running already 41 second elapsed okay once the crawler is basically success status what will happen here based on this cloudwatch rule i should be receiving one mail okay see here one aws notification came and see here the state is succeeded okay so that means this kind of notification will be coming when the cloudwatch is sending the update okay now from here we have to edit the cloudwatch rule such that it will be only triggering when that particular our crawler is successful okay so now let's try to find out how we can get that uh, detail type is crawler state change that is fine anywhere crawler name is there let's see see here crawler name is there okay to understand in a better way i can show you in json formatter so this is how the json is coming here if you see in the detail there is the crawler name okay so we want only trigger for this particular color so we can put this one in cloudwatch rule on top of that right so let's see so if i go back to blue so here you can see if i go to database in this database already one table has to be created okay which is pointing to our csv location that is perfectly fine the color has created but the trigger should happen only for that particular color so we have to edit this rule okay so here what we'll do we'll edit the rule and here we will click on edit and here detail state is succeeded right not only that here i will put a comma and here i will be going here and the crawler name also will be put in so only for this crawler it should run so crawler name colon this is the crawler name what we are working right So what I am saying that this CloudWatch rule should trigger if our this particular crawler is successful. And how we have got that? The debugging we have done using a SMS topic. We are just printing that how the CloudWatch rule is coming and based on that we have done. That's the same thing approach. Okay. So here we can save this one. Right. It is saved. Okay. Cool. Up to this no problem. Now we don't need this particular SNS rather once the caller is successful we have to start the glue job. Right. So we will close this one and we will add trigger our lambda. Okay. Right. So which lambda we should be putting? We should be putting that lambda which will be triggering our glue job. That is basically this particular one. Okay. So here trigger job glue. I will be taking that and here I will be pasting that. Okay. So this particular blue job should be triggered once the caller, this particular caller is reaching success status. I will configure the details and here upgrade rule. Okay. So this rule is upgraded. Now if I go to lambda, which is basically triggering our blue job and if I just refresh this one, here you will see that one event page CloudWatch trigger is added. Okay. And what it will do, it will trigger our demo serverless job. And where is our demo serverless job? That is basically this particular one. Here, if I do edit script, here we have already configured the complete stuff. Okay. So now let's see how we can add another CloudWatch rule. Once this clue job is successful, we want to send the email via SNS. Okay. So this we will be adding a second rule. So here also 
I'll be using glue and this time I'll be choosing that if the glue job state is changed okay so here you can see glue job state change is there I'll be choosing that and now here also again this particular one will basically trigger the destination as soon as any job state is changed but we only want specifically if our job reaches success status so again we can basically put an sns and we can see how we we are basically uh, getting the json data right so that will be coming like this way that here in the detail section there will be job name we can put so here i will click on edit and i'll paste that and here job name which job should be successful then only we should get the trigger that is basically this particular job so here what i will do i will put the job name okay right and earlier also we have seen right that here if the state is succeeded then only we want to basically send the notification so here we can put this particular also as another condition in our this cloud watch tool okay job name is obviously one and the state is another one i will be putting inside one array so what we are saying that if this particular blue job state is changed to succeeded then only this particular cloudwatch rule should trigger the destination okay very simple i'll save this one and what it should trigger it should trigger the sns because it will indicate the job is successful so this is our that one and here demo we create two and here we will create the two so demo one will basically trigger our clue job if the caller is successful Demo 2 will basically send the notification if our blue job, actual ETL job is successful, right? So that's pretty much it. Now let's test the pipeline from scratch. I will just delete this one. And here I will go back. And here what I will do. I will go to database, I will delete this particular catalog table whatever created in our earlier testing just to show you the complete stuff. Right, so eventually how the flow should be once we upload the file this particular lambda will be triggered, this lambda will start this particular crawler, the crawler will create the table in that particular database once that is successful based on cloudwatch event here this particular lambda will start the glue job and then we can see that basically this glue job should run and once the glue job runs successfully what we should see we should see that in this particular location in this particular location we should be getting the parquet data and once that job is successful in our mailbox we should be receiving one mail okay that should be the complete flow so let's upload the data and let's observe okay so here suppose our csv file goes and that is done right now what should happen this will trigger our lambda so let's see our lambda has triggered or not i can go to few logs in cloudwatch And see here is second log 8 11 currently 8 11 pm only so i can click on that and here it is successful okay so what should happen this ready status should change to running status because that lambda has triggered this crawler okay so if i just refresh that see it is starting state okay so let the crawler complete and then we'll move to next stage to see how it is working okay see 40 seconds elapsed 45 second, 47 second, and now it is stopping state. That means already it is successful and it is basically working. So now if I go to this particular lambda here in few logs in CloudWatch, if I go, then here we should see that this lambda is triggered just now. See 8 12 pm currently, right? Because the crawler is successful, it is triggering lambda info and it should start this glue job see it is running state that is perfectly fine right so automatically everything is working and once that is done what will happen 
here we should see one park k5 as of now it is not there soon it will be coming let's wait for a couple of seconds see here park k5 is getting traded 3.9 kb right so that means soon this job will successful also see it is succeeded once it is succeeded here this particular data came and the glue job state is changed to successful right so automatically based on our second cloud watch rule we should be receiving one mail soon okay let's just refresh this one maybe i can go to all mails let me just confirm whether i have given proper rule or not so this is the second one and basically this is saying that when blue job state is changed for this particular job demo server list which is our job name and if the job is succeeded what is this state it is succeeded right so run status right so you should see the mail soon So here seems uh, this particular stuff is not sending any mail. Okay, so I think uh, we have uh, made some different filter criteria. Let me just confirm. Okay, right. So what I can do? I can edit this particular CloudWatch action. And here in event pattern, as of now, I can remove the compute stuff. Okay, we'll add this later. Let me just have a copy. What we'll do, we want to just trigger if the glue job state is changed, right? So here I will configure and update it. Okay right so here let me just upload the same file again just to see how the cloudwatch rule is coming that's it okay nothing else so here see cloudwatch another file is uploaded and it has basically overridden because we have not enabled versioning and that will run our this particular crawler again see crawler is starting so Let's just wait for a couple of seconds. So here we already have our table. So this topping that means the table is basically crawl crawling is done. It is successful. No table updated, nothing added. That is obvious because I we are running the same stuff again. Now if I just refresh this one, here you will see it, the job is again running. Soon we should see the parquet file here. Okay, see it is succeeded. Now we should see one mail. See here, mail came. Okay, right. So, zero minute ago, just now the mail is received. So, if I go here, here you can see that this is how the mail is coming. Right, so state is succeeded. So, here all are in caps, or that all are in capital. That was the only change, right. I think that's the mistake what I did earlier. So if you see in crawler section here state is succeeded. This was in small. Okay. But for our this particular glue job state change the state succeeded is in capital all capital. So we have to put according to that. So detail job name will be this one state is succeeded. So I will be just copying that it should not be like that way. it should be like this. That's it. So you can always debug it. Okay. Not a problem. So job, job run succeeded, right? So now how I understood that where the CloudWatch rule I was doing mistake, that is just I remove the filter and let's see how it is printing and based on that I can update. So always we have an opportunity to edit the rule, right? I will just put a comma and detail type is glue job. I, I will just replace the complete stuff. So source is glue, glue job state change. And demo server list state is succeeded. This is should be capital. That's it. Not no other change. Okay. And then here we will configure details and we will update the rule. Okay. So let me just show you one final demo to just confirm 
the complete pipeline is working here i will open all files and here we will upload that okay so here it is uploaded now what will happen this particular lambda will trigger the crawler so if i go to crawler and refresh here see crawler is in starting so crawler will run obviously it will not update any table in blue catalog or it will not add any table because the schema itself is not changed right we are just testing based on same file again and again right so now what will happen that once this particular crawler reach success status and it will stop then automatically based on this cloudwatch event whatever we have configured right here you can see that stat state is succeeded for this particular crawler and here succeeded is capital rest also on how i came to know already i basically ran this particular sns using sns right and here i have seen that this state is succeeded is coming like this way but when blue job is successful the state succeeded is coming in all caps that's the difference okay right so here if i go to this lambda here this is the lambda name trigger blue job this will basically start if our this particular caller is successful okay let's see the caller state so here it is stopping that means already this particular lambda has triggered our glue job so see it is now running third time it is running so once it will complete the run here it will add another parky file because we are running our this particular same code third time so third time another parky will be created and once that particular blue util pipeline is complete then it will automatically send a notification using cloudwatch rule to our email okay then what is the advantage of this pipeline first of all it is complete serverless point number two is here we are doing asynchronous call okay this lambda is not waiting for this blue crawler to be successful it is just triggering and then forget you. it is also called fire and forget i am firing or triggering that crawler should start and then this lambda is going to end okay once the crawler is successful it is sending to cloudwatch that event and then this lambda is catching that and running that blue job and again this lambda is not waiting that glue job to be completed okay it is also asynchronous fire and forget approach once this glue job is complete automatically this cloudwatch based on rule we have we are filtering that this particular glue job it is, if it is succeeded status then only it should basically send a notification via sms okay so this is the technique to build the modern data lakes in a serverless manner using lambda blue trigger and cloudwatch okay here event bridge rule or cloudwatch rule is what is helping us to build the complete pipeline right and i have already covered some couple of other cloudwatch rule related concepts like related to ec2 okay and other api gateway etc services also how to add alarm and all these stuff so if you want to know those those detailed explanation you can obviously check the description link i'll be adding the prerequisite videos there so let's see whether see our third time also job is successful now if i go to mail section and if i go here if i just refresh see here just now 2026 now it is 2027 right just now one notification came and that notification is saying that it is succeeded what is the message the message is job run succeeded and you can see basically this is running for our this particular glue job okay so this particular cloud edge will not send notification for other glue job success because that's how here we have done the filtering criteria right so i hope you understood this this is all for my this video i'll be sharing a documentation link where you can explore about this particular technique in more detail if you want and if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.